Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hans from Homsab.com and in today's video, we're gonna be making a Choir UK drill beat using Logic Pro stock plugins. Let's get into this video. If you're interested in music production, tips and tricks and other related content, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you won't miss out on the next video. And with that being said, let's get into this beat. All right, guys, I'm gonna set the BPM to 140. What I'm gonna do right now is try to go through the choir sounds to come up with a melody. When I do have one, I'm gonna create two separate tracks. One is gonna have effects on it, one will not have effects on it, because I want you to be able to spot the difference. All right, guys, so I just came up with a melody for the choir. I'm gonna play you the version without the effects. Now for the version with the effects, I went to Space Designer, I put it under Choir Hall, I put a compressor on here with a bright vocal, I added a limiter, minus it down to 0.7 dB, and I also changed the EQ in these areas here. Let's hear it all together now. It just kind of stands out more in the track. Now that we have that, I'm gonna go to Alchemy and try to find one more instrument to add in there. Originally, I wanted to go into Alchemy, but to be honest with you guys, I felt like I couldn't come up with anything at the moment. So what I did instead was I added a combination of some bells. Let's hear it together real quick. Nice. To be honest with you guys, I'm gonna start adding some drums right now. For some reason, I'm not really getting any like ideas of where to take the melody as far as direction. So I'm gonna add some drums in the meantime, and if anything pops up, I'm gonna add it in there. We're gonna hit the plus icon, click create, electronic drum kit, scroll all the way down to kit pieces. What I'm gonna do now is look for a hi-hat sound that works, and when I do find one, I'm gonna add in the 2-2-1 formula. If you're not familiar with the 2 2 one formula, I left the link right there for you guys for another UK Drew beat that I made. There's a clip in there that breaks down a formula for you step by step. Once I put in the 2 2 one formula, I'm gonna add the other drum elements like the snare, kick, and open hat. Then I'm gonna go back into the hi-hat pattern and adjust it. I went with the Jagged Edges hi-hat. Let's hear it all together. Nice. Now that we have that, we're gonna add in a snare. Command D to duplicate that. Instead of a hi-hat, I'm gonna look for a snare. I'm gonna go with the Rim 2 Lindrum. I'm gonna loop that real quick. Command A, Q to quantize. Command A, lower the velocity a little bit. Let's hear it all together. Nice. Now that we have that, we're gonna add in the open hat. All right guys, so I went with the Roland TR 808 and I put it in the beginning of the bar. Let's hear it all together. Now that we have that, we're gonna add in some kicks. All right guys, I'm gonna go with the kick one depth charge. All right guys, so I just finished adjusting the kick pattern. I also added some overdrive of 0.75 dB. Let's hear it all together. Nice. Now that we have that, we're gonna add in the 808. We're gonna hit the plus icon, click create. We're gonna go to instrument, ESS2. I got a preset called 808. I got it from Boulder Producer. He's on YouTube as well. I left the link for you guys in the description so you're able to get the same exact video because he did a fantastic job on it. I'm gonna copy the kick pattern down to the 808. Command A, shift forward slash to do four legato. Command A, shift option up arrow. I'm gonna start adjusting the pattern on the 808 and I'll be back with the final result. All right guys, so I just finished adjusting the 808 pattern with the glides. You're gonna notice some breakdowns over here because I wanted to give some room for the 808 and then you have some 16th notes gliding up here. Let's hear it all together. Mm -hmm. 
nice. Now that we have that, we're gonna adjust the pattern on the hi-hats. All right guys, so I just finished adjusting the hi-hat pattern. You're gonna notice a lot of different colors with the hi-hats because I changed the velocities on a lot of them. Some of them are ghost notes, some sound higher. And I also duplicated the track, pan one all the way to the left, pan one all the way to the right. Let's hear it all together. Nice. Now that we have that, we're gonna arrange the track. Easiest way to do that, guys, Command A, Command R, repeat it all over. I'm gonna start deleting and shifting things around and I'll be back with the final result. All right, guys, so I just came up with an arrangement. What I did was I separated the notes on the choir. It was sounding too repetitive and I wanted to add some variations. So we're gonna have the lower notes coming in at first. Then you're gonna have the higher notes coming in with the bell and the hi-hat. You have the rim, open hat, and kick coming in together. Then you have the 808. And then we're gonna start taking down some elements and bringing some back. Let's hear it all together. Then we're gonna bring in the 808. And this is where we start getting in some of the elements. bring in the hi-hats again and that's the beat all wrapped up guys so hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button with the notification bell also leave a thumbs up if you have any suggestions leave it in the comment section below and let us know what you want to see because i want to provide you with the best possible value i'm also available on social media at the on instagram on twitter and facebook links in the description you have a wonderful day guys